Hey, ZZ Tribe, it's your girl Zari with Zari's New Life. Come on in, take your shoes off, leave the negativity outside the door, and let's get to it. Today, I am in the kitchen just making uh, Alex and myself a great uh, addition to our lunch. We're having uh, fish sandwiches, some fries, and we're going to have this great salad with uh, cucumber cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, and we're also going to have uh, onions, some red onions with this, y'all. I forgot to get it out, but I'll get it out in a minute. So I'm, I'm going to be coming back and forth just doing this. Alex don't like the green part. So part of these cucumbers, I'm going to slice off the green and the other half I'm going to leave on the green because the green has all the uh, has a lot of nutrients in it. So we just split it in half. Okay, so it's my little bow. I wish I had some salt and pepper vinegar, but I don't have any salt and pepper vinegar, y'all. So I'm going to, I got some apple cider vinegar. I might use some apple cider vinegar in here. And then I also have some thousand, some, uh, some Thousand Island dressing that I'll use on this too to make it, you know, real good. And then we could put salt and pepper on it if you want to. Uh, I use a lot of Mrs. Dash so that I don't have to uh, have a lot of salt. And for you people that, for not you people, for us, uh, for all of us that have like high blood pressure or, or uh, you know, we just want to do less salt intake and people like me that are trying to cut down on... Uh, the belly fat so we don't want to keep doing salt because of course you know that salt is not good for your stomach okay so we slicing up everything now this doesn't have to be done a certain way you can slice this up any way you desire because this is as i always tell you this is your food i'm not telling you oh you got to slice it this way or i gotta look like this as long as it tastes the way you want it to taste then that's what's up okay so we're gonna mix we're gonna cut it all up and i know people say that uh people get bored with watching people slice but some people they may need your like to see may need to see how you slice stuff so that they can decide if they want to slice theirs like that um uh, especially if you're a beginning cook or you're beginning to to cook stuff that you don't normally cook you want to see how it's cooked I know I do. So we're gonna cut that piece out. This is the piece of the tomato that you wanna cut out. <clears throat> so like I said, just slice it up however you want to. I'm not slicing it up all perfect or anything like that. I'm just slicing it in uh, bite-sized pieces because I, I don't wanna eat a chunk of tomato. Uh, I like my slicing in small bite-sized pieces. So that way, when I have my, my snack, I'm all ready to go. I'll be right back, y'all, because I need to uh, put my fish on the stove. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, thanks for being patient. Now, I got the fish. I have the fish on. I'm sure you can hear it frying in the background. I got, uh, I was going to do some cod, but I accidentally <laughs> took out catfish. So we're having catfish. <laughs> Sandwiches, excuse me, y'all. We having catfish sandwiches for uh, lunch or dinner or what have you. Alex and I like to eat early, and we fix enough so we can have some for later. And then uh, we're gonna have the catfish. Now, when I fry the catfish, I have some some um, uh, some rolls, some dinner rolls that I bought. They real th not rolls, but buns. They're the thin buns. I'll show them to you. And um, I think they 12 grain maybe. I think those are the ones I got. I bought. And I'll put uh, put um, I'm gonna make like a, a little mayonnaise, uh, vegan mayonnaise, and we'll put that on there. Or you know, you got honey mustard or vegan mayonnaise that we can have to go on the sandwiches. And then I, I may I'm gonna make some fries. I'm going to make some fries. Y'all see how that's coming along? See all the tomato in there? 
Now I'm gonna cut up another strawberry, I mean another uh, cucumber. And also y'all, let me rinse this, this off. So y'all, I did also uh, wash all the veggies. As you can see they're wet. I rinsed them off and uh, we wash them when we bring them in from the store. How many of you wash yours when you come in from the store? And um, make sure they clean real good. And basically you sanitizing whatever you're cooking. So that's what we did, we sanitize it. So that we can have some good uh, fresh cucumbers and plus they're not organic. So definitely you wanna clean off the pesticides and insecticides and all of those, uh, all the dirt and whatever else comes on there off of there. So this is what we looking like right now, y'all. So let me, I'll be right back. Let me clean up my mess and then I'm gonna do the avocado and the onions, okay? Okay, y'all, now I went ahead and cleaned off my board here and I grabbed uh, an onion. So we're gonna undo this avocado. I'll slice it up too. Now, if you are, you know, if you're not gonna eat yours right away, but you wanna cut it for later, make sure you put some lemon juice on that avocado to keep that avocado from turning brown. You can still eat it if it's brown. I did a lot of reading up on it, and they said that you can still eat it if it's brown. However, you know, we are uh, people of aesthetics, and if it don't look right to us, it ain't right. So we wanna make sure that, that uh, that you're gonna eat it right away or either, like I said, put some lemon juice on it. So there we go, avocados in there, part of it. And then you can take the avocado, run your finger around the edge of it and you can pull this off. It usually comes off in like one piece. And sometimes you can save this avocado seed if you want and start your own avocados, I guess. We almost done. This is something that's really quick, y'all. Very healthy. Has a lot of everything that you need in there. And you know, if you're vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, you need a lot of good nutrients and you don't always want to have to be taking vegetables. Let me wipe my hands. Something here. Wipe my hands. And then I'm going to wipe this off. And uh, we're going to cut up the, the tomato. I mean, the onion. Now, I don't eat a lot of onions, but onion is something that's gonna make this taste, top the taste off for you. So, I'm gonna try. Uh oh, sorry, y'all. Make it tasty. Another little piece of onion. Cut that little end off. Y'all hear that fish, honey? That fish is coming along. I'm gonna go check it as soon as I finish with this here. That's all the onion. So, onion in there, there we go. And then I have some salt-free seasoning. See that? I, I bought this at Aldi's. I don't know if you have Aldi's in your town, but if you do, baby, they got Mrs. Dash, they have salt-free seasoning, they have everything. And then you can mix this up with your hands if you want because your hands are clean because you wash your hands, right? Like I did. So, there we go. Cucumber salad. Thank you all for coming in. And once again, uh, like I always say, aha, bye.